Hello, this is Erin with the Joy in Pens and Paper, and it is time to set up for the week of February 5th. And in my mind, I just had to repeat over and over again, don't say January. It is February. So let's get into it. Um, this week was really interesting. So I have been talking the last a while about, um, I think just trying to figure out my planning system and understanding that what I'm doing is not serving all my needs. And I've been kind of making these little tweaks and the last few weeks, it's been about jotting down a note after a meeting. And I've also really, um, started to hit those moments of feeling of overwhelm. Um, some of that is normal. Some of it is normal. I'm still within the first year, uh, kind of six months of a new job, learning um, a new kind of workflow and as well learning all new clients. And when I say all new clients, I right now have a caseload of about 70. That's a lot of information coming into my brain and it's a lot of um having conversations with people and kind of retreating and going into my thinking space and then generating recommendations. And, uh, and, um, so I also found myself starting to go down a journey of re-listening to David Allen's getting things done, which I have on an audio book, um, in my car, but then my car went to the shop and so that kind of derailed me. But I also kind of uh, returned to a prior digital learning tool and have spent the last just over a week brain dumping. And, um, and today I woke up feeling like I was coming out of the fog and had more space for focus. And um, anyway, so I have all these pieces of paper with all these like to-do lists and things like that. So I'm going to put that to the side because I have transferred that over digitally. Now getting into my planner. Um, so I've kept up with my habits. Um, I did a dry January and, but my son's, our son's birthday was on the 31st. So both my husband and I said that we will drink when, um, we had a glass, well, a bottle we split a bottle of wine when we went out to dinner and then I also um, put into place a plan for myself not too long ago I wonder if I can find it really quick if not I'm gonna pause and stop looking um, but I put a plan in place right here on the 11th new rule no cookie dough unless I hit 2,000 K calories and so that was on the 11th and um, I probably should add a column here for 200%, but that got me moving more throughout the day and it kept me from kind of planting my bum when I got home from work and um, kept me moving. And so I had 15 days where I doubled my move goal um, and then today is February third. Yes. Oh gosh. Um, <laughs> and, uh, I have to check yesterday's, but on the first I hit 200%. So, um, that's awesome. Now then getting into my weekly for this week. So I started, I went from using a pilot Fermo, which you can see it's a very fine line to the Laban Rosa and the Pilot Fermo is in a fine. The Laban Rosa is an extra fine. So here's the difference between uh, German versus Japanese right there. Um, but I started using the Laban Rosa in lilac with a uh, Laban Athena, which is a black, but it has this um, green undertone to it, which is really fascinating. So I've got that. Uh, oh, sorry. I should... Yeah, I'll just finish showing. So um, that's this week. Now, I'm going to flip back to February. We're going to add in the scheduled items for this week. I'm going to put that in gray. And then uh, anything that comes up throughout the week will be in black. I'm going to turn this and 
zoom it just a little bit. I did meet the pay threshold um, and it took me December and January to hit that. So on February 21st, I will be getting a YouTube pay. And this is a noveler. I have, um, I want to say it was Monteverde pumpkin cake that this was inked up, but there's some in the cap and I have rinsed the cap, but there's still a little bit in there. So, um, I just had to wipe a little bit off the section here. Um, so this is a noveler or narwhal nautilus in Grand Rhapsody and it is inked up with color verse photo oh gosh under under the shade color verse under the shade all right so i have my job alike and that is it for monday love that for me tuesday i do need to prioritize this I think it's an 815, yes, 815 consult. There's a student in that consult that I gave a couple recommendations on last week, so I want to follow up on those recommendations, but then another student in that class is bubbling up, and so I just want to provide a little bit of support there. Ooh, love that too. I have nothing else. So I do have observations for some evaluations and those would be great days to build that in to, to do. Um, and then nine o'clock. I have an upper elementary consult. I have another upper elementary consult and then one o'clock. I have a reconvene for a middle school student. Thursday. That is a monthly console, and I like spelled that word wrong. Is that the actual time? I think so. They need to update that. 210 is a lower elementary IEP meeting. Nine o'clock is crisis. And I'm not putting that one because that never happens anymore. Um, and then my kids, ladies, and I are getting together. Um, one of the ladies had a baby, so we're going to go meet baby E and I'll get some little baby snugs. Oh, love it. Um, and then on the 11th is Super Bowl and we are going over to my friend's house for that. So, updated the monthly. Now I am going to flip back and um, I think ugh, I'm going to try it this week. I am not loving crossing things out. I know with this pen and ink combination, I'm not going to be able to write over it with this 
without it being a mess and perhaps bleeding through because I'm, yeah, it's causing me anxiety, I think is what I'm really trying to say. So I'm going to leave this blank and I'm going to document how the day went as opposed to what was prescribed. And instead, I am going to go day by day and write in, write in what is happening. And I will write it in gray on the daily. Hopefully you're following, hopefully I'm following. And I made one mistake. I want to put the time there just because um, sometimes things start at half past the hour or 10 past or quarter past, etc. There are two pages there. Thank you. All right, so then Tuesday. So for example, 8.15, and oh, I love this day. I love this day. 9 o'clock is lower elementary consult. 12.30, oh, upper elementary. And that one is in person. I knew that. All right, and Thursday, Friday. So Thursday is an 8.15, lower elementary consult, a 9.45, lower elementary consult, and a, what was that, 2.10. Lower elementary IEP. I'm going to write here flex schedule because this starting at 210, this is probably going to go until 330, um, maybe even 4 o'clock, which would be outside of the general working hours that I do, but that's something that I just have to do occasionally. Um, I haven't really had to practice it a whole lot. And let's see, nine o'clock. Crisis team. So then some things that I would like to plan out So I definitely need to uh, schedule clinical observation report observations. I need to schedule teacher interviews. surveys um, and then I can do behavior support plan time blocking and let's 
do a weekly review of open tasks. Um, let's see. What else was coming to mind as I was writing this out? Oh, confirm. Saturday time. Need to confirm. Sunday time and whether I need to bring an appetizer or a drink. Ooh, and probably tomorrow I need to Look at some tax documents because I want to get all the tax documents in line so that we can make a tax appointment and hopefully, whoops, I can go there, that's fine. There we go. Um, this morning, I, my husband and I went and we got coffee and I, that's a good time for both of us to kind of dump our plans on each other. Um, and so what I realized it, as we were doing that is that we have to make the final payment on our cruise on the 26th and I'd like to have our taxes done so that the money's deposited. The reality of that is fairly slim at this point, but if we can get a tax appointment during our winter vacation week right here, um, then it's likely that we can pay for, pay the final payment here and then get the money back into our account soon after. I can shift some things around, um, but Here's what I also did, and I'm so excited. <laughs> so we looked at, um, we had a little kind of hiccup in our travel plans, and, I, and I'm, I'm not necessarily mad about it. It just is what it is. Um, we both thought that our cruise was departing on Monday the 6th, and it is not. It is departing Tuesday the 25th. So we scheduled our flight on Friday the 21st, almost about midnight, um, and we'll in arrive in Athens the afternoon of Saturday, and then we don't get on our cruise ship until Tuesday. So we're just going to have an extra day in Athens, um, but we're going, the cruise is boarding in Athens. It's going to Kusadasi. Apologies if I butcher any of these words, locations, names. Um, then we're going to Istanbul. We'll be there for two days and then Volos. Um, and I put even our departure time from those locations. So that's going to, we would need to be back on the boat by that time because we need to start thinking about what night uh, we might do a reservation at a paid restaurant uh, as well as when we want to do excursions. Um, and I believe we can book excursions and food reservations 120 days ahead of time and we're at maybe 140 something right now so um yeah and then we're going to Volos and Mykonos, Rhodes Island, uh, Crete, Santorini and then back to Athens um and we also fly home on that day which means we'll arrive back around Friday um and then we're heading to Vermont and we're looking at perhaps going to Delaware. Um, I think it's in August and I think the DC Penn show is in August and we are going to try to uh, go down to Delaware and hit up the DC Penn show at the same time. So um, we're, it's 
getting to that point where we're starting to really plan for the summer and it's so exciting. Um, and yeah, it's just, uh, I can't say enough good things about, about kind of where I'm at mentally today and, um, the joy that I'm experiencing. And, um, it's really kind of, kind of helping to push me into a really productive mindset mindset. I mean, today I even, um, we flipped our mattress, we changed our sheets. We, I was able to do a little bit longer workout. Um, I just am feeling really, really productive. So that's all lovely. I love it. Um, anyway, I'm going to wrap up there. If you made it to the end, thank you. I appreciate you. And I hope that you have a wonderfully productive week. Bye.